Richard E. Coffin, 66, how are you? Yes, we shaved the cartoon. Ominous voice, you're a genius. Chicka moo moo. <laughs> She's asking if you could go back and redo the Bible. From scratch. <laughs> what would you do? And you can't destroy it. I mean, there is. I did think of a loophole. You could write it on ham. That would piss fuck it, 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 fuck it the Jews and the Muslims off as well, which I'm sure would be helpful. First thing you do. I think we should be a bit more honest about Garden of Eden. If there is a God and it's the Christian God and everything went the way it says in that book, fuck it. it's blindingly obvious that God is in fact a man. Why else would he create the first two people? It is basically a classic porno scene, isn't it? A nice little garden, meadow. No one's around. Teenage girl, they're there, they're naked, stuff's gonna happen. Couldn't be more pornographically obvious if he had some funky jazz playing in the background and he, he changed it from a garden, it was a kitchen. And Eve, you know, was in the kitchen, she answered the door and Adam was there. It's the plumber, I've come to fix the sink. You know, so get that one out for a start. From the point where God made Adam and Eve to the point where they had their first child, do you know how long that space of time is? That's a hundred fucking years! One hundred pissing bastard fucking years! Go and fuck myself! We all like a woman when she plays hard to get, but that's taking a fucking piss, isn't it? Horny housewives, mega boobs. You know what these magazines are like? No. I might consider changing it from a book this big. People who tend to believe in this the most are people of such cerebrally deficient fucking ability. There's no, there's no words on it. You know, maybe change it to a pamphlet. Make this sort of big, use big 72 font, just two pages, just opens it up and it goes, Oi, you lot, fucking behave yourself. Love God. Jesus, in essence, was the original superhero. He has that appeal. Possibly, you could turn alcohol into wine or crystal. You know, he could walk on water, he could make a cunt load of fish just appear out of nowhere. Fish, 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 fish. Get rid of that. Give him shit ones, like he can hold his breath for a minute. He can grow his pubic hair as long as he wants. He's really good at sewing. Which can be rather embarrassing. Some really fucking naff skill that no fucker would want. Change the way he dies to something like his knob and bollocks are just crushed over the course of a three day period. Because that would kind of fuck up any likelihood of Mel Gibson making a shit film. Who would claim to be the Messiah under those circumstances? The real simple way I would change the Bible in one tiny little way just to make sure that no one would end up taking this too seriously. I would just change Jesus' name to Kevin. Kevin! Sorry, Roland! <laughs> Face it, you're not going to worship anyone called frigging Kevin. It's one of those names. It's just a naff name. And here is the Messiah, Kevin. You'd be like, oh, for yeah. Or something like Nigel, Wayne, Darren, Trevor. I'll do something like that. So, you know, a pamphlet, very short, with Keanu Reeves playing Kevin, the alleged son of God, made out of ham. That is how you, that is what I would change. Just an idea. This is the Coffin 666. Good night. Make copy less.